Hey guys, welcome to Samson's World. This is Sit and Spin, where I sit down with some badass comedians. We pick some questions out of the hat. We discuss that shit. Today on my show, it's very exciting. I have the lovely, groundbreaking, she's tracking in the industry. You've seen her on Laugh Tracks on True TV. She's one of my favorites. Give it up for Miss John Cia Elizabeth. Woo! Did you say my middle name? I think yeah. I did. What's your last name, though, John Cia? I, just I don't know. I like a lot of Fuck different men. Just John all Cia. Of shit. I do yeah. a lot of my men. That's Come all John my Cia me. Hey, none of your men. Wow. That's, that's right. Cool. All right, guys. Next on my show, this is a pleasure. This man does Thursday night live TV show. He's got his own show at the Ice House. Give it up for Mr. Jeff Hodge. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Pleasure. Glad to be here. Pleasure to have if you. If not, I'd be Ubering. <laughs> I know, right? That's what we'd all be doing, folks. Exactly. It's like, what are comedians doing when they're not just doing comedian shit? We're Ubering or Lyft. We're Lyft. <laughs> I like Lyft better than Uber. Right? <laughs> Why? Because Uber, uh, the people's cars are dirtier. We have to have our cars at a certain standard. See, or I we thought can't Uber drive. did, but it's been... It's been slacking, man. Like, you either get a BMW, or you used to, but now, like, you get some dude who's so, just, like, dirty-ass car. And an 83 like, Saturday. I have seen them like, in the pajama pants <laughs> Uber in. I'm like, pajama oh, pants and a jacket. I'm you like, cannot do, do really? that with Lyft. You cannot do that with Lyft. You have to be classy. Your car has to be clean. Right. And everybody knows I'm probably one of the dirtiest motherfuckers Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't get her for your live driver. Yeah. Oh, no, my car be clean. Now, that's a del- No, illusion. she's talking about her life. Oh, Unless oh. you live with me. Unless you live with me. Hilarious. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, no, Uber, I mean, it's all, oh, man. It's, it's it's rough. Especially, I mean, yeah, some guys, I mean, you can be in your pajamas just driving around. People. I mean, I saw one guy one time who actually had a breathalyzer. Really? Yeah, oh, my wife and car? I were like... <laughs> a breath... <laughs> Dude, I'm like, Don't worry, I'm still sober. Yeah, it's like, no, do me a favor. At yeah. least you know he's sober. Because half is. those half those drivers look high as fuck. You yeah. know, oh, you're, like, oh, you definitely yeah. people be getting high than driving. That's a fact. That's That's a fact. I knew a friend That's that was so shaken one night. She stopped off, grabbed some to drink, and kept it going. So she was like drinking it. She was kind of like in a cup, and people came in like, man, them them pass, uh, passengers they were really drinking. She go, yeah, yeah, they were really drinking. No, oh, my God. <laughs> She's getting hammered. Wow. So okay. So Jeff, tell us a little bit uh, about you. So you uh, you have a show at the Ice House. How long have you been running that show? Man, for? I've been doing that show ten plus years, maybe Damn. fifteen. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now uh, you also uh, you have a son doing comedy too. Is that right? Yeah, I have my son. He started at seven. Wow. He retired at eight, seven. and he came back at ten. Wow. So he's already been through the drug habit and everything, had his behind the music. He's been through something. I don't know what he's going but he's been through something. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stopped at seven. Holy. I wish I would have started no, at seven. No, he would Yeah, I know. Yeah, Shit. but you'd be done by now, man. That's what happens in L.A. Oh, you can retire at eight, though. I'm like, dude, you're retiring? And that was the exact word. And I asked his mom, did you teach him that word retiring? She goes, I don't know where you got it from. Hilarious. Hey. You know, comedians never get to retire. Exactly. There's no 401k plan. Now, how long so have you been providing opportunities shit. for young and up and coming comedians? Because we know you're, you know. You know, I've been doing, since I've been doing my shows, I mean, like, I've been doing shows longer than that, but I've been doing it once a month for about 10 years. Wow. And I've just been letting, I would let anybody do my stage. Mm. And then I started hearing word around town, like, man, you're so nice, blah, blah, blah. Some comedians, if you don't bring some people, they will tell you the day, the night of the show before you go up. You didn't bring anybody, you can't go up. And I'm yeah. like, oh, really? Oh, I need to show. stop being a little bit more selective. But I would let anybody walk up and say, hey, I want to try comedy. Go ahead. Like, go ahead, yeah. Which, I mean, that is very nice of you, but then also you can sacrifice your show. No, you no, know, well, I don't do like a whole show. I mean, the way right. I it, I have regular funny comics. Of course. And five, then... three to five minutes. Yeah, it's like it ain't gonna kill the show, yeah, right? You know. Yeah, you're right. That's true. You're right. Yeah, and right. I'm exactly the opposite. If you are not funny, <laughs> you're not getting on my show. Yeah, that, I, know. and I have so many people that inbox me, and right. you know, we're friends. Like I love them to death, and they'll be like, "Tonsia, when can I do your show?" And I just say, "Well, I'll let you know." And I'm not gonna ever let them know. Hilarious. Now they know. I, now they're they watching. Know. They're gonna know well, why they haven't done your show in the last five years. I am trying to build a brand. Well, and she's and... live right now, so she's telling everybody. Yeah, she's telling all her friends. Oh, that's what it is. Man. Wait till look, she stop going live. Look, yeah. It, I don't have Ice House backing me. You know what I'm saying? I don't got money. This is just. I don't have Ice House backing me. I got to finance that stuff. I'm just saying. I'm Hilarious. just saying the word Ice House is bigger than where I do my show at. So. Yeah, I can't just have people saying no that they do terrible. You know how I started doing shows? I started doing shows 
just so I can get stage time. That's why I did it. That's the only reason why I have the actual stage at the right. restaurant. Yeah. Because you have to beg for stage time and mm-hmm. kiss ass for stage time out here. And it, half of the people that get if the I stage kiss time. My ass. Nah. I would. Well, that's, now that's that I know you do Ice House, no blame. That's probably <laughs> the biggest piece of advice to give up and coming comedians in a sense is you almost, you have to just create your own shows yes, and opportunities you because you, you're, you know, I do my deck show this Friday. We all three kind of create our own shows in a sense because. I'm not always getting booked nearly as much as I'd like. So if I book my own show, then I know how much exactly. time I get, you know, and I'm not left out of that, you know. And then, like That's you said, right. you can choose the lineups. So now uh, let's move to so John Cia. You were on Laugh Tracks on True TV. You had a hilarious sketch where you got your um, the waxing. So like you pretty much like you know you had to show the the John Cena special on TV, you know? Like, how, how did that feel? Tell people, like, you were half naked on TV. It was... Showing, showing actually, the Actually, I think what people don't know is... Oh, yes. That you shave? you are on... <laughs> First of all, I will. I am never shaving. Oh, Good. you're gonna get Good. this. I'm sure all our male listeners out there you're just got a video. To oh, mine get said they want to see us. Uh, see that? The Hilarious. John Cena special. Oh, 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 hey, just just in, all of our male listeners did not get a boner from you saying that. I just want everybody to know that I am not shaving my fur burger ever again fur for burger. anybody. That if you want to tap this, if yeah. you want to eat this, you oh. gonna eat this fur burger. Wow! I don't want to hear no man talking about I don't eat pussy with hair. Right. When you you gonna eat onions, but nah, I hell you gonna eat this shit. What too. kind of onions do you have? There's yeah, hair on it. That's what I'm trying to figure out. John. Wow. Okay, no the fur burger. I think uh, uh, we just got a little call. All of our male guests again didn't get a boner from <laughs> fur burger. I mean, you got to know the visual. You know I love you, but like, how about like a. You know, like chinchilla burger it's, or something. It's, it's you know? shaped like like she's very. It's not. It's uncomfortable. maintained. It's, it's not, not like yeah. an eighties bush. It's like when you cut the grass. No, it's not the eighties porn bush. Good, definitely okay. not. Okay. But it definitely is the two thousand nineteen porn okay. bush. <laughs> like, is it something that a guy could jump off like a two story building and land and be nah, okay? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> is this so, is this something that a guy can move? Move. And Wait, be you gotta do this. If okay. you gotta do this, yeah, we need some head right. trimming right Would there. Would Moses have a problem? <laughs> <laughs> do you have Don King in a headlock? Is yeah, what exactly. Saying. <laughs> the Red Sea. Parting the Red Sea. Uh, oh, a scissor, a, a scissor. Oh man, I can't even fucking talk. That's, That's funny. Crazy. All right, guys, listen. We're gonna move on where we pick some questions out of the hat. You know, it gets a little fun. So you guys ready for that? Oh All right, yeah, let's see. The hat. Okay, okay. I'll oh, let you gosh. go first, Jean Sal. A question out the hat. Let's question out the see. hat. Shout out to the DMV for Gen Z. The DMV. This mm. is a lot. Not the place where you go and get your driver's license. Mm-hmm. What stereotype are you fighting to be the opposite of? Which one are you making worse? Mm. Okay. Gen Z. Okay. This definitely. This is easy. This Good. is easy. The stereotype that I am fighting opposite of is that. Big girls aren't just as great as every other woman in the world. Yes, they are. I'm so sorry. This this daggone, this this Hollywood illusion delusion that mm-hmm. the bigger woman is not just as great mm-hmm. or you know, everybody honestly, mother is fat as shit. And if she ain't fat, she wasn't a good mother. So well, I had a great mom. <laughs> I had a great mom. She's actually running, not fat. She was running, she was running the streets. If your mom ain't fat right now. She was running the streets when you were younger. I'm uh, telling you like this. She has to be way bigger than what she was now back in the day. Now I know. I'm Thanks, just letting mom. you know the honest <laughs> truth. Was your mama there or was your grandmama raising you? Tell the truth. Wow. Like, y'all gonna stop disrespecting <laughs> fat girls just because we don't eat chicken fingers. Uh, we don't play with food. Like, you you, you understand? No. Oh, really? I want real food. And we know John Cena can cook her ass off. I, that's yeah. right. So oh, she's gonna God. have you well fed. Well, oh, sex. Tell these dudes. Fur burger on Thank you. Uh, the fur burger whenever Sassy. you need it. Tell these But you gotta part with your two hands. You gotta tell these hands. men Wait, real, uh, yeah. about my f- my fumper. Yeah, like, what, what you call it? Fupa, what you a call fupa, it? A, a fat upper pussy yeah. is what it stands for. Tell these oh men that they gonna have somewhere to rest their uh, head. Fupa. <laughs> Oh, but you get oh you one of them bone skinny girls. Oh, yeah. no fupa. See? Right. No, you're no right. fupa. Hey, look, I don't like those little skinny girls with no ass at all. No. Like, it's like, like yeah, what is there to hold on to? It's well, like, gotta they have might a pop fall in the off. back. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. My ass ain't as big as it should be for my weight, but you know, I we'll got boobs. I don't know. We'll work okay. on it. You, you can get your ass bigger. I got a fupa. <laughs> so, you know, okay. Right, so let's hear. Yeah, part two of the question now. Which one are you making worse? Oh, what stereotype mm. are you making worse now? Uh, I think the stereotype I'm probably making worse yeah. is that big black women are loud. No. Wild. John Cena, you're not loud, John Cena. No. I'm I, I wouldn't saying, agree with that. Not that's not fair, though. I may be making it worse as far as that, uh-huh. where, you know, y'all come for, you know, y'all right. come for the black woman right. saying that she's da, 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 da. And you know what? It's times that I am, but yeah. I'm not angry. Well, not, like today, I'm not, not today, though. Not today. No, no yeah. days, really. I'm not the angry black All right. Just that way. Just so. But I make it worse <laughs> when people hear me and they judge me. Got it. And they just automatically look at me like, this big girl just, you know, which isn't true. I'm actually a sweet little lamb. You are a little lamb. <laughs> That's what they all say. Next topic. All right. We hear about the Hollywood, the bullshit in Hollywood all the time. Mm-hmm. When has been a Hollywooder saved the day? Yep. Driving for Uber, man. You drive an Uber, people get to LA and they this is the first time and they don't know what to expect and you start telling them about the LA story. I, t- I usually yeah. tell them, LA stands for lots of action. Oh, that's good. If it's a guy, a lot of ass. Lots of ass, that's <laughs> funny. Oh. If it's a girl, a lot of assholes. A lot of assholes. That's so, just based on that, I'll give them a little tour and stuff and like, wow. And I tell them where they can go and can't go and stuff yeah. like that. And I'll usually sit in a big tip. Yeah. So just that little drive from LAX right. to where the destination. Yep. They're like, man, you've been here a while, blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, I plug myself that I have a show. Mm. There you go. And then, like, wow, a Hollywood movie star. And I'm right. like, no, celebrities, stars do not drive for Uber and Lyft. Oh, <laughs> so that has usually saved the day when I tell them stuff like that. Got it. And if you're in North Hollywood, it's lots of anal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I live in North Hollywood. Lots of Sorry. Just you a lot of anal in there. I got to remember that. <laughs> All right, John Cena, what about you? Wait, what do you what? mean by lots of anal? He was and saying what do you LA, mean by LA, 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 lots, lots of up. assholes. Keep up, Dell. <laughs> lots this of improv anal. Is just, okay. This improv is lots of anal. <laughs> lots of anal. <laughs> And that's only in North Hollywood, West Hollywood. West Hollywood. No, that's where the porn. That's where the porn is. There's a lot of there's a lot of anal scenes that I happen in North Hollywood. Oh. And also, people call it no ho, but I call it actually mohos because that's where all the hoes are at. <laughs> it's funny because right. I, I live there. I'm gonna start driving home. around looking oh, for them hoes. Where the hoes at? Hoes at? Because they can't afford to live over on this side, so that's they're all in North that's Hollywood. True. I used to live on this side, and I moved to North Hollywood because it was way you cheaper. You live in North Hollywood. Way cheaper. Yeah. Way cheaper. Now we, we know just about it. All right, next topic. <laughs> so you're running down Got a it. dark alley, and when you look back that. behind you, what do you see? Who's um, chasing you? Not a motherfucker. <laughs> Let me tell you something. These 300 pounds I built, ain't not a motherfucker chasing me down no dark alley. I ain't worried about no shit like yeah. that. I'm just running just the job. <laughs> so so who I look saying? back like, you know what? <laughs> I knew not a that motherfucker was going to be chasing me. No! <laughs> I built this body Maybe myself. you're running too fast. Slow down. Maybe, you know. Man, you're I'm you're almost positive I ain't running fast. <laughs> That's a You're fact. running too fast. That's There's somebody back there chasing so you. So who's walking you after you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm speed walking and they just walking briskly like behind me, almost reaching out to touch me. I turn back uh, like, what, what you doing? Yeah, then right. I start beating them up. I don't know who who's the bold person that want to get effed up in the back alley. Right. Oh, know. yeah. John C. will man, fuck you up. I'm telling you, man. And you <laughs> wonder why. I know, right? Wonder why the stereotype. You see? Yeah. What do you, you want me to do to you in the alley? Uh, <laughs> show them your food. What you call it? Fupa. 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 Show them at least that. No, that's All for right. me and Jesus. We'll end that one on Fupa next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I haven't ha- I haven't heard fat upper pussy in a while. Yeah, I had never I've heard it. it. I've got a teeny bit of a fat upper oh, pussy. Oh, guess what I heard today? Huh? I'm on a keto page. I started keto eight days ago. What? I'm on a keto page. Kegels? Keto. Mm. The diet, and, oh. and somebody literally asked, does the fupa go away when you lose weight on keto? I hope not. And I was like, is this a real question? And I went under there and reading the answers like, well, God damn, I'm going to lose my little fat pocket too. <laughs> like Everybody was like, oh, yeah, yeah. the fupa goes away. I'm like, oh, oh damn. God. <laughs> like, Dude, well. That visual know. is stuck in my head now. I'm yeah, the fupa. Is, is, is it shrinking, though? It is. In your no, head? no. Okay. It's chasing me down an alley. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> and notice how sad Jeff looks that John Cena said her fupa's going away. Obviously, you're a fupa kind of guy, so. You know, that's all right, Jeff. Man. Hey, shout out to the fupas out there. Fupa power. Fupa, fupa power. 
<laughs> Same sign. Same, hilarious. <laughs> fupa. This is a fupa. All right, Jeff, what do you think? Mine says, sound that? off, the abortion band. Oh, snap. Getting serious Ooh. over here. I know. Well, I mean, basically, I know for me, I can't go back to my home state of Missouri. It's just past the abortion band. What I don't understand is how you get in more trouble. Oh, you hit recording? Or what? Oh. No, look. Here. Okay, what I don't understand is how you can now get in more trouble aborting a baby than you can raping a woman and getting her pregnant to have that baby. That's sad. Like, a woman is now getting a life sentence where a rapist, like, you know, I mean, if you're white, you know, you can probably get off in a few months. That's you know? a fact. This Black man, I mean, yeah, maybe a little longer, but you're still not getting a life sentence. So I'm just, like, turning to you guys. Obviously, John Cena, you're a female. So how do you how do you guys fear this? Because the religious right is such bullshit, acting like they care about lives, you know, with this whole thing. I'm going to throw the question to a man. Go to the man. What do you, what do you think? I you know? think... When it comes to this abortion thing, I think people need to leave people lives alone because right. at the end of the day, I'm the one got to feed them kid that you telling me I can't abort or whatever. You know what I find out too? As another that, that I hate about this religious right and the the hypocritical abortion stance. Mm. A lot of them same people who are telling you can't do it. Right. They're doing the same damn thing oh, yeah. <laughs> behind Absolutely. closed doors. Oh, yeah. When their mistress, but then they want to exactly, but then they want to tell other people. So right. my. Kiss my ass, leave people's lives alone, yeah. and enjoy life. That's yeah. my attitude. Yeah, I don't understand, too, why people just can't live. If it doesn't affect your life at all, why? Leave it you, it's, it's like, but people think they're on some mission from God. You know, like, they got to go knock on your door to say, hey, you know, you're you're wrong for living your life like this one. It's just like, let me just live. My thing is, do not tell me what I can do with my life. And your body. Yeah. It's just my life. Yeah. And yeah. what about... Your life and your fupa. What about fupa. <laughs> What about if I can't afford a kid? Yeah. Or what about if I don't want to bring a child into this right. filthy world Yeah, and why bring by a, a person in? that I know is not going to do anything for them? That you part. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like almost I think sometimes I feel you're better off leaving the child in heaven than bringing them down Sending to some right world that they're not going to be loved. And, I mean, there, it's torture for a child. To I don't even think you should have to give reason. If I want to do it, yeah. I should be able to do it. This exactly. is America. You do what you want. Yeah, even if you're... Providing is legal, right. do what you want. Yeah, so I don't have to give you a reason. Yeah, I want to do true. it. Okay, well, if you got the cash, go do it. doesn't mean yeah, that's, that's true. not going to happen. We're just going to have undercover oh, yeah. abortion well, of clinics course. and stuff. We know yeah. that's where it's going to go. Well, and now they have, though, that you can be an accomplice to murder. If you leave your state, you can still get 10 years if you left your state. And then whoever, like, say, uh, the guy or whoever your friend drives you, you're they're an accomplice to murder now. So it's just crazy. We just need to get these old white men no voted exactly. out of office. That's and that's another problem. You have men making men these decisions. Make not decisions. women and men. Yeah. It's, not it's a fair. bunch of well, white dudes. I mean, I hate to say it, it seems it is exclusive to older white men because you don't, like, I, I mean, I'm Jewish. You don't, you don't see any rabbis or Jewish people talking about abortion like it has to be this thing. It is this conservative white Christian male thing that they think they're doing some duty of God like by just forcing women into the archaic. But then age, they don't you know? wanna then they don't wanna help or No, you know, they don't wanna do shit. Give, give money or food stamps. No, and then they have little kids in kids. cages at the border but they claim right. to care about life. So right. let's wrap this shit up. Next topic guys. What is your favorite thing to do outside of entertainment? Mm. Oh, we know man, you have to go there with that. We already know life like is golden. I'm putting the fur burger to work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So silly. You know this Ferber game been touching 10 years. You know I'm just going to have that word on redial. <laughs> I know. Speed dial. Hashtag Ferber. My wife is like, hashtag what did you just call me? Fooper Ferber. FB. Hashtag FB. <laughs> <laughs> the fuzz burger. So silly. All right, so what is um, it? What do I like to do outside of entertainment? I'm a family person. I really love my family. You know, I take care of my mom now. Um... My friends, I love to cook. Mm -hmm. I love to inspire. Yes. So I like to do lives, giving people inspiration. And, you know, I also love to feed the homeless. Okay. That's my thing. Like, every Tuesday at 12 o'clock. Oh, where why, do you go? That's why I was kind of like, ugh, when, um, right down there off of Fifth and Crocker. Well, I mean, I think, the homeless I think Tuesday. God will kind of look at, like, feed the homeless or do Samson's world. Yeah, that's, this is that's, probably a more noble yeah, thing to... <laughs> 
to, I don't, you know, I don't just be know. on camera I mean, somebody's because shit. Because by you putting it out there to your fans on <laughs> yeah, Samson's World, exactly. more people are going to go out. Right. And yeah. Yeah. And more down, people are going to know that you're a good Tours person. Or Fifth and Crocker. Yeah. We feed the homeless every Tuesday oh, that's uh, between 12.30 and 2.30. That's like one of my favorite things to do. Um... What that's else? Dope. That's, 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 that's and tell them real quick. You have your show uh, Friday where you do. It, I have you a couple cook shows. Like, I have a couple shows. Week, yeah. Um, I do. Before I even talk about the shows I do, I also have a new talk show coming up. Oh snap! That um called Tips and Tea. Tips and Tea. Okay. Tips and Tea. So be on the lookout for that. Tips and Tea. I just want to so shot some tea that with out. Some tips. I'm guessing. It's definitely tea snap. with tips and you Is know. It sweet tea. It's or? something my cousin Shay Dixon started in mm-hmm. Atlanta, and she decided to. Bring me on as a co-host, oh, and we've cool. been taping some shows, and it's been pretty amazing. Right, it's pretty okay. fun. So look for that. And also, I have a soul food sing and soul food comedy show mm. every Friday. Damn. One week is Friday sing, one week is Friday comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. and and it's it's ten dollars. The food is amazing. It's That's so okay. enjoyable. It's fun. I mean, say the venue. The venue is Sister Mary Soul Food in Glendale. Sister Mary Soul Food. Well, it's in yes, Glendale? In oh, Glendale. Glendale. Right there by me. A black-owned business. I was going to say Glendale. it was Armenian. I had no clue no, they no. could do soul food. No, no. <laughs> black-owned. You never know. You never know. I know these days. Never, never, never. All right, what about, what about you, sir? Oh, uh, this Jeff Friday Martin. I have my... Uh, what do you like doing outside? Of oh, what do you like oh. doing outside of the game, though? You don't like doing... I, I like being a dad. Oh. You know, my son is getting bigger now. He's 14. He's taller than me. Oh, wow. And when you're in the moment, I hear people would say, like, when you're like, oh, you enjoy these years because they go by fast. Yeah. Now that he's 18, I'm trying to cram more father-son things. Right. He's about to be... He's about to be 18. Yeah. So before he gets to be 18, I'm trying to cram a lot of father-son things yeah. in because once they get that age... He don't want to hang out with his parents. He want to hang out with his friends and his girlfriend. So. I know. Yeah, you like you said, it goes from, hey, daddy, to like, what's up? <laughs> like, my son, when I go to pick him up at school now, he fucking does this, like. <laughs> it gives you, like, one minute, I'm coming. I yeah. hate that shit. I'm just like, I'm your fucking dad. Like, come run up and give me a hug. He's like, dad. He's like. <laughs> I used and to call like, him baby yeah. boy, you know. Oh, you yeah. know I call him big mini me because people say he looks like me. I would call him mini me. Now that he's tall, I call him big mini me. Oh yeah, like I call my son Lovey, and he's like, Dad, you can't fucking call exactly. me Lovey in front of my friends. <laughs> Lovey. Like, yeah, I was like, Come here, all right, Lovey, let's go. You know, like, uh, no, 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 baby, baby names. Yeah, that's cool. So, that probably. Oh yeah, tell us about your ice. Uh, my too. show is uh, this week, this Friday. I have my uh, monthly cable show. It's called Thursday Night Live. Live. It's a variety show oh. with. All kinds of entertainers. We'll be taping at Pasadena Media Studio in mm-hmm. Pasadena this Friday from 8 to 10. Okay. And then I do my monthly Ice House show. I'll be signing up again uh, in July. I got dates from July all the way to November. That's so if you're funny, you know, hit me up. And, and it sounds like anybody can get on. Not anymore, not anymore. If you're funny, don't hit me up. I'll find the funny people myself. Yeah, well, no, I just figured this out. John C. has never booked me on her show, so I know. She I know. Not even close. No, this is awesome. Hey, you guys, so I just want to thank my two guests for being on the show. We had a great time. Thank you, guys. Please make sure you are listening to us on Marcus King Presents Dash Comedy Radio, bitches. This is Samson's World. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time. Peace out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, this little box here. Click on it, go to the link of that video, and please subscribe. You're helping to support my family.